Hello my YouTube friends, I want to welcome you to this exciting lesson in Revit. In this lesson, we are going to use AI to generate floor plans automatically in Revit. And the plugin that we are going to use is called Plan Finder, as you can see from here. Now, this plugin will allow you to generate, you know, floor plans in Revit, depending on the settings, of course, that you are going to create. You are going to have, you know, floor plans generated automatically in Revit with different variations and you can choose the variation that the variation that you want to have and the objects that you are going to create within Revit are Revit objects and you can you know change your model you want to be you can you know switch the families with other families and you're just going to see how to do that in this particular lesson so if you like what I'm doing on this channel please make sure that you like my videos and subscribe to my channel without wasting time let's get started in this lesson Now, before I proceed, I just want to mention that if there's anyone who would like to learn Revit architecture, Revit structure, robot structure and as professional, please check the links in the description. There are some courses that you'll be interested in. So just make sure that you check it out. So let's proceed in this lesson. And the first thing, of course, is for you to download the software. Now, if I just go down here, as I've mentioned, this plugin works with Revit and also some other software. As you can see from here, Revit is right here and we have these two, as you can see from here. So now, if you like what this software does, of course, you, are, you have the option to download, you know, the 30-day free trial and you are going to use it for free. But if you like what it does, then you can proceed and, you know, get a pro or an enterprise version. So I'll just show you on how to download it. Of course, I've already downloaded, but once you just click on download there, you can now pick the software of your choice and you are just going to have, you know, the download. Let me just go back once. You're just going to have, you know, the compressed file just extract it and this is what you are going to have this is a very small file just you know double click it and install it and once you install restart revit and you are going to have plan find right there with these options okay so now let's proceed in this lesson and the first thing we are going to use the fit option there so with this option you just need to create the boundary walls here and use the fit and you see what it does so what I'll do, I'll simply go to architecture, then go to walls, and I'll simply pick architectural wall. Let me simply close it there. And I'll just use the basic wall from here. You can use any wall that you want. Maybe let me just use the field one. And now you can use these options as you can see from here. Maybe let me just pick the rectangle there. And I just want to have, maybe start by having something like, maybe just a rectangle, like maybe... 12 meters or 11 by 9 meters just like that so you need to create that boundary and once you do that you can now go to plan finder and i'll use the first option which is called fit i'll just click there now you see that it will tell you select the point surrounded by the walls so you need to and that's why i was creating those walls i'll just click inside there now it also asks you please select the entrance of the plan if I want, I could have placed, you know, the door in advance, but sometimes you can even just pick if I want the door to be maybe somewhere here, I can do that. And you see that automatically in some few seconds, less than two seconds, actually, it has given me, you know, this layout and you can see that these are the options. Now from here, you see that it, it has given me a living room. You see, we have this bed, the circulation. Actually, we have three, this is three bedrooms. Okay, so... What you need to do now is come here. You can start switching with what you want. If you want two bedrooms, for example, you can just click there and you can see that we have two bedrooms and you can check the layout if you're happy with what you have. Now within there, if I just click, I continue clicking, you can change the arrangement of your furniture as you can see from here. I can do the same for the living room as you can see. Depending on what you want to show, you can just keep on clicking there and see the best fit. This also can be done in Revit as we are going to see. So if I just want to go back maybe to three bedrooms, let me remove this one, the two bedrooms. So we have the three bedrooms back. So you can play with these now for the baths again. You can see that we have two of these. Let me maybe just put one bathroom there you can see that it's going to adjust here now the blue line is the outline that we created but it's telling you that it has adjusted up to there so as you can see now we just have one bath 
I think one bath as you can see from here. So you can play with these settings. Let me go back the same two, you know, bathrooms there. Now the country, you can pick the country of your choice. If you also want to adjust, you know, the minimum area, maybe for the rooms, I can just click the living room and just try to play with this one here. You see that it changes and adjusts there to fit, the, you know, the minimum area that you are specifying here. I will leave the default so you can do the same for the bed and the bath. Now, the other feature is that you are able now to see other variations of the same plan that it has proposed for you. Okay, so if I just click there, you see that this is another proposal, another option. We have the bedrooms this side, the circulation. We have the bath, the beds, and all these. I can just click and you see that this is another option. Of course, you can click there. We have the third one. You can see that we have the beds this side, actually three bedrooms. Actually, now we have oh, three and the bath and the living room combined with the kitchen. So I can go on and on until I reach the last one. This is the other one. So I'll click there. You see another one, another one. As you can see now, there's this option. You can see we have the living. So I will not talk too much on this one. You can go on and on and counter check all the options that you have created. Now, let me maybe I want to, you know, to open one option. So I'll simply go back. Which one do I like? I think let me leave this one now you can see that maybe this is the position where we propose the door as you can see from here okay maybe we may not have the windows some um, we have the windows we can modify it in revit if you want so once you are happy with what you have here you just need to click on okay and you can see that actually less than as i mentioned less than two seconds we have the proposed floor plan as you can see from here everything looks okay right now if i want to change you know the feel for this wall let me now start you know modifying you see that if i just click there these are revit you know families i can switch it with my own family if i want okay so if you know how to use revit just load the family and switch it with the one that you want is to be switched these are again walls that you can change from here as you can see including the inner ones remember we didn't create this one but you can see that these are revit walls which you can change at any time if you want as you can see from here so this is how you generate your floor plans it's quite easy now let me show you another option whereby you have to use the the generate the generate you use it for example if your layout is quite complex or if you want to match a certain layout let me simply delete everything here maybe from my keyboard and i'll go to architecture wall i'll go to architectural there then i'll have that one there and i just want to have you know the shape like this but again i'll go to line and i'll just you know have maybe two corners somewhere here and use the other option okay depending on how complex you know the outline is you may want to use maybe let me deliberate maybe also put make it like that then tr on my keyboard to trim these corners just like that i'll also trim these corners like that just trim that one and this one if i want i can use the first option which is the feet but most likely it will not fit with the shape that you have. If you don't want to disturb the outline, you want everything to be designed inside, I encourage you to go to Plan Finder and use this other option called Generate. I'll just click on Generate there. Again, you can see, let me click on Generate once again. Click inside. Okay, I think it works now. Let me, it says, uh, get facade. What is the facade? Maybe let me pick this side as my facade. Maybe just these, you know, walls there and click on finish. All right. Now select the entrance of the plan. As you can see from here, maybe the entrance is right here. I'll just click there. Now you can see that it's going to generate again, you know, using that option. You can see that with this one, it's going to fit the way you, you know, you created the layout. It's going to fit everything within here. If I'd use the fit option, it will not fit perfectly maybe it may try to to propose you know some other options but with this one it will fit within what you have so if you have that outline and you want to fit everything here you better use this option but even for this option you're able to go to the next one and you see that everything is fitting within you know there's nothing like extending outwards because you fixed it within that and once you use that option 
this is what you get as you can see so we have this first option again the way i was explaining the other one you can change the beds you can change the country if you want to show the water closet if you want to separate the kitchen walk-in closet meter box all these as you can see so maybe let me which one should i i think the first option is better for me it's okay so you can go if an architect just analyze it and see how your plan is and see the one you like or the one you want to start with for me this is okay i'll simply click on maybe let me try this option the living room and the kitchen is combined so if i just let me try to click on separate if you see that if it can separate here okay unfortunately i think it doesn't work but sometimes it separates the kitchen and the dining you can use that option if you want but maybe let me leave it the way it is and simply click on okay and let's see what we have you see that we have everything here all right you see that we have the outline there and everything looks perfect if i just want to change maybe this one so that it also dark now these are some of the edits that i can do within here i can just go to edit and let me just change the fill the solid the fill there and let me use solid fill okay sorry don't solid fill maybe the color I want to use black there apply okay so now this is what i have now as a way of cleaning up you can start changing these tags there this is now purely revit if there's something that you want to change you can do that i'll go to edit there let me just maybe leave it at two apply okay then i'll load it you click on no and let's see what we have override so you can start now changing these things and make it as clean as possible you can rotate these things if you want it's entirely up to you you can move it so this is how you can create you know your flow plans in revit using ai so if you like this you know plugin make sure that you get it and start using it in your workflow